everyone, what's up? Well, here I am going to be making another awesome tea video for you guys. And this one will probably help most new beginners uh, owners as well as seasoned veterans helping to put their minds at ease. And this is probably the most popular question that I've been asked uh, this past week. I've gotten five different um, people asking me this topic, either as people sending me videos uh, about their specimens, um, either comments on my videos, you've probably seen them and I, can't, I, can't, I keep answering them, as well as some private messaging on my YouTube channel. It's about tarantulas that fast and they just stop eating for just completely no reason and the most frequently asked question that I get is that why is this and should I be worried? Well, I'm here to tell you that you should not be worried about your tarantulas that completely stop eating for no reason. Now this really depends on the species that you have. For one, as I mentioned in the beginner video, rose hairs or Gramisola rosea are completely infamous for fasting for long periods of time. As you probably know, Talia, which is one of my uh, females, has been refusing food for three months. And the way I actually try to get to feed her is, is that just keep feeding her as normal. Uh, just keep putting uh, crickets or superworms in the tank and if the tarantula doesn't eat them within two or three days, I remove them and then I try again the week later. There's really nothing you can do to force a tarantula to eat. Tarantulas can eat as much as they want to or as much as they can. Some species have known to go for fasting even very hungry species. Like for example, my Acanthoscuria brocklehursti, the Brazilian giant white bandit who was a popular attraction in many of my feeding videos was not featured during the 100th episode because she simply wouldn't stop eating. Well, actually she did stop eating and we don't know why. She's certainly not in pre-molt yet. So, not eating is really not a good indication of your tarantulas in pre-molt. Now, some theories of to why teas stop completely eating. Well, as I said, some of them just fast for uh, no complete reason, just like your G. rosea. Uh, secondly, your conditions in the room or the temperature and humidity conditions in your tea tank. Um, I know for a fact if you keep them very cool, uh, they will certainly go into a dormant state and they're not going to eat as much. They're pretty much cold-blooded like your reptiles or snakes. Um, second, re third reason why teas won't eat is that they're simply just not hungry. So I would never be worried about your tarantula if your tea has a pretty plump abdomen. If the abdomen starts to get a little bit skinny, then I would probably start to be a little bit concerned, but not too much. So really the only thing I can suggest you to do is just to keep feeding them as much as you can. Um, like I said, try to put some crickets in there. Hopefully it will eat. And it's just really a waiting game. Alright, so that's mostly for your juveniles and adults. Oh yes, I did forget about mature males. That's pretty much a concern to other uh, owners. I received a PM from Ramstein45 asking me about his mature male GBB. Uh, he did his sperm web and now he's completely stopped eating and he's wondering if his male will be okay or not. Well, when mature males do their sperm web, their primary concern is that they're going to want to find females. So eating is really not on their uh, main to-do list. So it's very normal for your mature males to stop eating because they really want to find a female and when he's going to be ready, he's going to be pacing around the tank trying to escape. So there's really no need uh, to worry about mature males not eating. Now for slings, again this is a little more uh, delicate because it's a very small sling and you want to see it grow. 
So the main concerns when slings won't eat is either because they might be molting soon or if you're giving prey too large to the sling. Now it depends on how big your sling is, but let's say if it's about half an inch. So let me give you an example. Take my Salmopolis reduncus, the Costa Rican orange hawk that I picked up yesterday. Now if you try to give it a I would say juvenile cricket, it's going to be very scared of it and it's probably not going to eat. So for this size of teas, you want to feed them appropriate size crickets, like um, certainly very small crickets to baby pinheads will be suitable for your slings. Now if you feed them the right size, then they're certainly going to eat. But if you give them too large of the prey, they're not going to overpower it, they're going to be scared, and they're going to refuse to eat. That's from Haley. Hmm, weird. So if your tarantula has refused food for like two days, up to one or two weeks, really you have no reason to worry. Uh, even up to a month, I personally uh, left my tarantulas uh, not fed for a month and they were fine, nothing happened to them. So, which brings on to my second most frequently asked question is, how often should you feed your tarantula? Oh boy, boy, do I get asked this a lot. So that's why I'm making a video on it, to help people's uh, mind at rest. Okay, so it really, really, really depends on the individual uh, hobbyist. Some people like to feed them very often, like power feeding. I see the benefits in that because it helps the tea grow a lot faster, but it also introduces complications. Uh, like, it'll molt faster, but it will get older quicker, so that way, as a consequence, it'll have an overall reduced lifespan. And it's also, if you're making them too fat, it might contribute to obesity, and that's really not good in teas. Uh, some people feed them once a week, which I think is perfect for tarantulas. Tarantulas have very slow metabolisms. They're not like us or cats and dogs that have very fast metabolisms. So they don't need to eat more than twice a day. Or you shouldn't feed them twice a day. So once a week is just perfect. That's totally recommended. Uh, you can even go once every two weeks. That's also a good feeding schedule. And that's the one that I used for uh, my feeding videos. Now, like, with all the schooling that I have to do, I sometimes leave my teas alone for three weeks. And, again, nothing bad happens to them. Which brings me to my point about how often do I feed my tarantulas. Well, I feed them according to my feeding videos. So, if anyone have, may have caught this on, every tarantula video that I post on YouTube, so I posted feeding video 100 on January 28th. Now we're the 14th. So tomorrow I'm going to be making feeding video 101. So pretty much every time you see a new feeding video on my channel, I feed all the teas. Now, yes, granted in feeding videos you don't see all the teas. I feed them all on camera. All 120, I believe. I, I kind of actually have lost count, so I have to actually count how much I have. And I just record the ones that eat the, the best. Yeah. Uh, so what to feed your trees? Uh, you feed them gut-loaded crickets. Uh, you just uh, give your crickets a lot of uh, fruits and vegetables. And the vitamins that the crickets will take in, the tarantula is going to get the, those vitamins transferred. I use super worms, which are great for, you know, your big teas, like your El Parahibana, your B. smithy, even T. Sturmy. Uh, you can also use the more expensive worms like wax worms, uh, silk worms, those green goliath horn worms, but they're like $2 each. You can feed the mice, but I personally suggest not to because if you feed them too often, uh, it does contribute to bad molting problems uh, due to excess calcium in their exoskeleton and it may lead to death. So feeding once 
or twice a year mice is okay, but not often more than that. I personally don't feed tarantulas mice because, um, yeah, I'm sympathetic about uh, squealing mice, so, yeah, that's it. Also, you can use Bidupia roaches, fantastic feeder item for your teas. The reason why I can't use them here, because in Canada it's illegal to actually buy or sell them, so that's why I can't use them. There you have it. I hope this helps everyone understand that it's completely normal for teas to not eat, and it's certainly uh, there's no reason to worry. As well as your, how often you should feed your tarantulas, it really depends on your what you like to feed them. Once a week or twice a month is just perfect for them. Not more than that because uh, you uh, may introduce some complications. Also, for if, uh, if your tarantula is a mature female and you're priming her to mate with your male, then you, yes, you should feed them a little bit more often because you don't want to risk that male to become her lunch menu. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with the E. capistratus and the P. erminia, which I'm going to be breeding um, probably this Tuesday, if all works out correctly. Hope you like it, everyone. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it.